everybody, it is Golden, and today I have part 2 of Mega Man X5. So I apologize for the laggy gameplay, my computer isn't the best, and I know for sure it's not my capture card, because I because my computer runs slow of everything. So now we're going to the Mavericks, we're going to be taking on Grizzly Slash, basically what's going on now. So this phone is going to crash into you in 16 hours, unless you shoot it with a cannon or crash into a space shuttle. So, the space shuttle is infected with the Sigma virus and the auto hide of the so you have to shoot the cannon first. So, basically these Maverick, these first four Mavericks have the upgrade for the cannon. So right now we can actually shoot this cannon. Except we wouldn't want to do that because it has poor accuracy, so we wouldn't want to do that. So, so here, you can go as normal X, or Thormer X, or a zero, so in Christmas at slash the stage you would want to go as zero. So, the reason that you would want to go with normal X for any reason would be on Sigma's third fortress, you can actually unlock the ultimate armor if you go without the armor. Ready? So, on the stage is. I'd probably call this one of the easier. No, one of the harder stages. Uh, I think it's because of the limited time, the hearts to reach on for something at the end of those trucks. And I think overall this is more out of this. And also I'm playing on easy mode and with and I'm on solo because I'm in bad reaction time. So these are the crystals I'm talking about. You can have zero over hard to reach. Now once you get them, it takes a while to destroy them. There's actually time limits to um, get off the road to die. As you can see, it looks like I'm going to go and it has a time limit. So I don't really know what happens if it hits zero, but I think it just kills you. So then, I think after the next truck, Wait, nope, it's this truck, that's the storm that stops. And now, you're pretty close to 
on the map of the except you're actually gonna wanna go up. This is a cool feature of Mega X5. Zero can pick up Dr. Light capsules and give them to X. So I mean, unlike in Mega Man Extreme 2, Zero doesn't, can't get his own upgrades, except for, um, the black armor. Zero can actually get armor if he goes to that same secret area that I was talking about earlier in Sigma Forces 3. So right here, Zero actually asks Dr. Light, about Dr. Wiley, and this is an area up, 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 or up the Dr. Light capsule encounters of Zero. So here he's saying sometimes like data emerges of an old professor referring to Dr. Wiley. Because here's the thing, in Mega Man X4 it's shown that Zero was made by Dr. Wiley. So, Dr. Light doesn't know about it, or he just pretends to not know about it. Yes. This is an important to mention. This isn't important to mention, but this day Slash is seen actually sound sounds like he could be in 1908. Which is, good, which is actually a good thing since I don't connect the Mega Man soundtrack. First, a lot of people say that Mega Man X5 had about that soundtrack. But I actually liked most of the themes, the Shadow Devil theme. Split out of her. Grizzly Slash. Um. Who else? Um. So the Skyper was pretty good also. I think my personal favorite would have to be, um, Squid Adverse theme. So here's the thing, um, all of the Matrix except for, except for Axel the Red are named after band members of Guns N' Roses. So I don't really know that much about Guns N' Roses, except I all I know is that they're banned and that uh, 7 out of the 8 Mavericks are named after some band member of band members. But, um, a lot of people say that Duck McWaylon is the most clever one. Um, so I think it would probably be similar to maybe some a band member's name. But I'm not really sure since, like I said, I don't know that much about Guns and Roses. So basically, Grizzly Slash isn't too hard. It's harder with X, Zero, and A lot of people say that this is slash might as well be weak to the Z-Buster. So basically, in, instead of having like a, a regular weapon get screen, Alia has to talk to more stuff, which is one of the bad features of Mega Man X5. This is Dynamo, which, who is a maverick. So I mean, you fight him twice so I, um, in between when you fight the mavericks. Sometimes he's not really hard. You fight him with zero. I'm not sure about fighting him with X, but I know he's weak if you fight him with zero. So that's all for today in part three. You will be fighting Duff McWaylin and maybe Dynamo. I'm not sure if I'm gonna save that for, for part four or do that in part three. But anyway, guys, that's all. Um, please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe.